Hello guys, welcome back to the Sumo tutorial part 3. In this video we're gonna discover the network topology creation uh, using the application of NetEdit and also we're gonna learn how to import uh, you know, the network, the existing networks from other file formats specifically using the application of a useful tool named uh, OSM Web Wizard. So let's get started. All right, um, a Sumo network file with an XML format describes the traffic related part of a map. I mean the roads and intersections uh, where the simulated vehicles run along or across them. Um, at the course scale, a Sumo network is a directed graph. Nodes usually named junctions in Sumo context represent the intersections and edges represent roads or streets. Um, specifically, the Sumo network contains the following information. Um, a collection of edges representing segment of the roads, uh, streets, aquatic routes, railways or pedestrian pathways. Uh, an edge may have multiple lanes including the position, shape and speed limit of every lane. Then uh, a collection of nodes or junctions together with the many requests uh, you know, specifying the right of way regulations of each junction. Then uh, the network file can have uh, you know, a, uh, a set of traffic light logics referenced by the junctions uh, or a set of connections between lanes at junction uh, describing how from specific lanes in junction it is possible to turn into other lanes going out of the junction. Um, also, uh, depending on the used input formats and uh, you know set processing options, uh, one can also find you know the districts and the roundabout descriptions in the network file. Well, uh, these are the examples of a network components definition in a in a, a net.xml format. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can define various objects within the network file. For example, here you can see the the edge objects or you know the junctions you know the traffic lights you know their related attributes or or even connections and uh, you know the attributes related to them we'll talk about these attributes later on in this video when we are going to the net edit application um, although you can read the xml files by you know simply opening the file in in, in, in any text editor uh, sumo network file um, files are not meant to be edited by hand because you know there are many interdependencies among edges junctions traffic lights which which might prevent a proper simulation well as i mentioned before there are various techniques and programs available within the sumo package which are you know able to generate network file uh, for example if you want to create a geometrically simple abstract roadmaps you can use the net generate software the net generate is a command line application you know where you specify as input uh, a set of command line parameters uh, receiving as an output a generated sumo road network um, a description of all possible configuration within net generate can be found at this link uh, you know within the sumo website then uh, if net generate is not enough for the kind of network you want to build you might generate your network by hand using the xml description files together with the the net convert software um, details on the required XML structures for building these files can be found at this link also within the sumo website um, you may also use the software net edit for building your own road networks or for editing those obtained from net convert or net edit um, uh, our focus here is on the NetEdit, but I highly encourage you to visit the mentioned web pages regarding the NetGenerate and NetConvert and you know, understand the, their mechanism. Uh, there is also an alternative way to create network files. Uh, you can import the network topology from other, uh, other file formats. Um, this, uh, the first technique is using the NetConvert. The, NetConvert uh, allows to import road networks from different file formats like you know OpenStreetMap databases uh, or uh, Vsim which is a microscopic traffic simulation package or our Visum which is a macroscopic traffic simulation pa package uh, 
also you can uh, import from the ArcView database files or Matsim, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, among these, one of the most popular choice is, you know, importing a real map from the OpenStreetMap database. The OSM Web Wizard tool, uh, which I think I mentioned before, you know, within the Sumo package, uh, offers one of the easiest solutions to start with Sumo. Based on a selection of a desired area in OpenStreetMap, you will be able to, you know, uh, you will be, you will be able to configure a, a randomized traffic demand and uh, run and visualize the scenario in the Sumo GUI. Actually, we'll uh, talk about this tool later on in this video. Okay, the NetEdit uh, is a visual network editor. Uh, it can be used to create networks from scratch and to modify all aspects of existing networks. Uh, with a powerful selection and highlighting interface, uh, it can be used to debug uh, you know, network attributes. The NetEdit also has unlimited uh, undo redo capabilities and thus allows editing mistakes to be quickly corrected. But before going to NetEdit software, let's review some of its fundamental structures. Uh, the NetEdit can be switched between three major edit modes, uh, which are also called the super modes, you know, for editing the network related objects, traffic related objects, and the data objects. Um, each of these super modes has a number of sub modes. Uh, you know, some of them are common to all the super modes, and some of them are specific. The common modes are, you know, the inspecting, deleting, selecting, or moving the objects, and the specific modes, which we are going to review, the network specific mode, are the edge mode for creating the edges or connections, prohibitions, traffic lights, additionals crossings, TAZs or traffic assignment zones, shapes like polygons or points of interest. We are going to review these, uh, you know, specific modes in the NetEdit. Um, actually, I will talk about the demand specific modes and data specific modes later on in the next videos. Now let's open the NetEdit and uh, see how it works. All right, now let's open the, net, the, the NetEdit software to review uh, and see how it works. You can find the NetEdit in the bin directory where you install your Sumo. Uh, let's open the NetEdit. Uh, actually, uh, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, uh, into all details, but I think it would be enough to give you some basic insights on, uh, you know, how to uh, start working with Su uh, with NetEdit, with uh, you know, with Sumo. Um, as you can see, there are a couple of, you know, options uh, up here uh, in the toolbar. In the file menu, uh, you can open a new network, open an existing network, you know, edit and modify the existing network, or load or save the network elements or, you know, demand and data elements. Now let's open a new network. Uh, the first thing is that uh, the network is in the Cartesian system. As you can see, the coordination down here is changing with, you know, moving the cursor. Uh, second, uh, uh, over here is the uh, scale of the network. As you can see, it is changing with zooming in and zooming out. Uh, as I mentioned before, there are three major super modes, uh, the network, the demand, and the data mode. Now, in this video, we are focusing on the network mode. And also, uh, uh, there are a couple of common modes like, you know, inspecting, deleting, selecting, and moving the network objects. Um, uh, then there are some, you know, some network specific modes like create an edge, like, you know, connections, prohibitions, traffic lights, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, the first thing is the create edge mode. Uh, the edge mode creates edges, I mean, lanes, and implicitly junctions. Uh, over here, the edge attributes uh, will be taken from the, you know, current edge template. Uh, if no template is set, the default options will be used. Uh, for example, uh, uh, here you know, the default um, you know, default template uh, have an edge with uh, one number of lane with the speed limit of uh, about 14 
uh, meter per second. By the way, please pay attention to the unit of the speed. It is meter per second. And also there are other attributes which you can, you can learn and review them from, uh, from this help uh, section over here. Uh, or you can create your own edge template using this second option and uh, you know customize your uh, you know your desired edge attributes for example i want to create an edge with uh, you know id1 with uh, a number of lanes of 2 with the speed limit of uh, 20 meter per second uh, well um, uh, in create edge mode uh, uh, let's first create the background um, in the edge mode, uh, click over an empty area uh, to, to create a junction. Then click in, uh, in another area of the view. Uh, as you can see now, we have a you know we have a we have an edge with a two lane. Uh, but uh, please uh, pay, uh, note that this is a one way road, uh, starting from the first node and ending in the second node to create. Uh, the reverse direction you can click on the second node and then click on the first node and the reverse direction is created or uh, uh, you can do this automatically by enabling this two-way option up here and you can create a you know two-way road automatically then to connect to already created edges uh, click over the first junction uh, uh, then click over the second junction to create an edge between both like this uh, and also you can create uh, you know a list of you know a list of edges a set of edges by, by enabling this chain option up here and then you can create a chain of you know edges like this the next mode is the connections uh, the connections establish the you know establish the possible directions that can be taken by a vehicle uh, you know when it arrives at a at a junction. For example, over here you can see that uh, this connection uh, links uh, you know this this incoming uh, lane and this outgoing lane. Uh, uh, over here you can see the color codes that indicates you know indicates the the source lanes the target lanes. You know the conflicts uh, for example in the conflicts you cannot establish the connections between you know between this lane and this lane uh, next we have the prohibitions uh, the prohibition mode shows right away rules for for any you know selected connection using the color code um, actually over here we uh, you know we cannot um, see uh, clearly the you know the, the connection the the right of their rules but if we create a uh, you know and create a three leg junction over here you can see the prohibitions over here for example we by selecting this uh, this uh, you know this connection you you can see that uh, it has the right of way rule uh, and I mean it has the priority over over these connections and these uh, you know connections should yield to this uh, to this uh, road to this connection the next mode is the traffic light mode uh, yeah, the traffic light mode sets junctions to be you know to be controlled or uncontrolled by a traffic light um, you can edit all aspects of static or actuated signal frames. Uh, you can also visualize a signal phase by uh, by coloring the controlled, you know, lane to lane connections um, according to the signal state. Um, when entering this mode, uh, each traffic light control junction is indicated with a, you know, with a traffic light uh, icon. Uh, right now, we don't have any, you know, uh, control junction. Um, you can add traffic light to a junction by simply clicking on the junction, then click on the create button over here. Uh, then uh, you can edit the current control junction by changing its you know its uh, current attributes and uh, you know the signal states in the phase table uh, as you can see uh, this is a traffic light with cycling time of 90 seconds and you can see uh, you know the, 
the states, their duration, you know, uh, uh, that uh, indicates by coloring, you know, by color codes in that junction. You can also, you know, delete the, 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 the phase, add some states, uh, you know, you can customize the, you know, the states over here. Uh, you can load, uh, you know, a previous signal state to the network or save the current, uh, you know, current program and use it later on in the network. Um, actually, I'm going to talk about traffic light programs in more details in the upcoming session, uh, as I believe that it was to spend, uh, you know, some more time on this topic. After customizing or, uh, you know, changing the parameters, you, you should save the traffic light. Then we have the additionals. Uh, the additionals are elements which do not belong to the network, but, you know, may be, may be used to uh, influence the simulation or generate some specific outputs. Additionals are, you know, actually are defined in, a, in an additional file. <clears throat> I'm sorry, with the XML format and can be loaded in NetEdit by clicking on the load additionals in the file menu over here, uh, load additionals. And, and also you can save the additionals in the save additionals right, right here. Uh, within this mode, the first step is choosing what kind of additionals you want to, you know, you want to um, create in the network. For example, we, there are various kinds of additionals over here, like bus stops, train stops, parking areas, or uh, various kinds of detectors, calibrators, rerouter. Uh, I'm going to choose the E1 detector. After uh, choosing your desired additional type, you may change the parameters over here. Um, uh, like, you know, the frequency of the detector or ID of the detector. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, you can, you know, you can learn about these parameters right here in the help section. Then, uh, after, uh, you know, choosing your detector with a click over, an, uh, over a lane or junction or edge uh, or even an empty area, depending on the type of additional, the additional, uh, you know, will be created like this. All right, the next mode is the crossings. Um, in the crossing mode, you can add pedestrian crossings for, you know, for use with pedestrian simulation. Their, you know, their parameters can be customized, like their widths can be, you know, can be changed. And they can be either uh, uh, configured as prioritized or unprioritized, which means vehicles have the right of way. Crossings are added to the network by, you know, by simply activating the crossing mode and then click on the, you know, you know select the junction, uh, then select edges that shall be crossed, uh, and then click on the create crossing. Then we have the TAZs or traffic assignment zones. Um, this mode actually allows creating and editing the traffic assignment zones, which you know, which used in assigning the traffic distribution in a network, like in a traffic network, like you know, distributing the origin and destination of a certain traffic flow in the network. Please refer to the Sumo website for more information about TAZs. And finally, we have the shapes mode, which allows the creation of uh, you know, creation of polygons and POIs, points of interest. Um, these objects are used for visualization. Uh, in the polygon frame, uh, you can select the type of, uh, you know, type of shape to edit and the, the, the corresponding parameters for each one. All right, we reviewed each of these uh, network specific modes and learned their functionality. Uh, using these uh, modes, you can, you know, edit and create any, uh, you know, any kind of network. As I discussed before, there is another way of creating the network topology, which is uh, through the, uh, through importing the network from other file formats. One of the easiest way uh, and the most popular way is using the OpenStreetMap. Uh, the Sumo com community actually made it us for uh, made it for easy for us and uh, provided a useful tool named OSM Web Wizard. Uh, the OSM Web Wizard program is essentially a collection of Python scripts that allows you to choose your desired uh, you know network area and uh, and uh, you know 
um, specify your demand elements within the network and then uh, generate a, generate the network within the sumo format uh, the, this uh, program is located in the tools directory in the sumo installation root you can simply open the program by you know double clicking uh, the file or call it using the using this um, script uh, uh, within the within the command line of your tools directory now let's open the osm web wizard which is located in the tools directory of sumo installation root here is the osm web wizard double click it and you can see that the program pops up within your browser uh, here you can zoom out or zoom in and you know pan the map to the area of your interest or you can simply search your favorite position by its name or by its uh, you know by its coordination uh, then you can select the area by you know checking this select area checkbox uh, as you can see the rectangular here shows the boundary of the network you can you know uh, change the rectangular size or move it until you satisfied with your you know with your network uh, here we have a couple of options uh, the first one is add polygons uh, which you know imports all types of roads and rails by unchecking this uh, you know unchecking this option uh, you know it disables downloading and rendering you know non-road objects like you know like buildings waterways stuff like that which uh, you know result in a smaller file size uh, here we can specify the simulation runtime. For example, I want to I want to simulation be you you know be run in one hour. Uh, the public transport uh, option imports bus stops and train stops. Um, the car only network allows only you know passenger cars to travel within the network. Uh, this can um, be used to reduce the network size and the, you know the intersection complexities then we have the satellite background which you know imports the network with with the satellite imagery background and the left hand traffic allows network to be built with the you know left hand traffic rules um, in the demand uh, generation panel over here with the car pictogram um, actually uh, it uh, allows, uh, uh, you know, uh, using this uh, these, uh, this panel, you can activate or deactivate the individual modes of, you know, transport by clicking the corresponding checkbox over here. Uh, for each mode of transport, uh, uh, the OSM web wizard generates random demand based on a certain probability distribution, which we can specify over here. Uh, in the road type panel, uh, you can define which road types to be downloaded and uh, you know rendered. This impacts the file size of the OSM map data. Uh, and finally, by clicking the generate scenario in in the control panel, let's click. Uh, the complete scenario will be generated automatically. Um, the scenario generation may take a couple of seconds or minutes, uh, you know, depending on the size of the scenario, size of the area. Uh, once the scenario is, uh, uh, you know, the scenario process is finished like this, uh, uh, the Sumo GUI starts, uh, Sumo GUI starts and the simulation can be started by, you know, uh, pressing the play button over here. Uh, you can see that these are the traffic lights, uh, the passenger cars, trucks, like this. Very well. Okay, this is the end of the third video. We've uh, learned how to create and edit a network topology and uh, more importantly you know import the network from OpenStreetMap using the uh, OSM web wizard tool in the next video we are gonna dive into network demand generation how to create uh, you know demand elements in the network or edit the demand uh, the current demand elements within the network so see you in the next video